Hi there, this is Abhishek and in this video, I will talk about the task drop down menu. So in our previous two videos, I have talked about uh, the type message, the message uh, drop down menu, the notification drop down menu and the third and last type of drop down menu that you can have it within the dashboard header is the task. So let's see about it. And it is one of my favorite because it is very, very intuitive based on the information that we are providing. And I sometimes, you know, I really like to see how my each of the projects or each of the tasks are on the completion stage. So let's see about it. And I just put a comma because I wanted to create a, uh, after the notification, I want to create the another drop down. So it is ending over here. The one which is starting here is ending here. So I'll put a comma and enter another drop down menu in this case for task. So drop down menu type is equals to and third option is tasks. T A S K S tasks. Put a comma and it two enters to get some space. All right. So now uh, in case of a task. The important parameter is value that you need to provide. So value is basically uh, think in this direction that every task has a hundred percent as a completion percentage and you need to provide a value that how much the task is completed. So let's say 80 and then this is up to you what color you want to basically provide it to your uh, task. So maybe you want to provide aqua maybe in this case and then the message to the task at the task of uh, whenever the task is getting displayed what message you want to show so for example the project name or or the task name so let's say uh, we want to give a name or display the title like uh, shiny education shiny dashboard education so what it is indicating that within the shiny dashboard indication or the education it will display 80 percent as completed within the color aqua all right so that's one thing that you can do uh, after that uh, so one problematic thing which i just noticed and i missed explaining that for example in drop down menu i have specified all the parameters whereas it needs to be specified within the task item so like notification item menu you we need to specify the task item so task item all right discovering here i'll just put a comma uh, the bracket for the drop down menu so once we have done that we can add another task item and maybe here in this case we are providing value is equals to maybe 55 and color maybe is equals to red comma i'll just put a comma and uh, uh, the text we want to provide is uh, overall our education right and maybe the third one we can create which is the help of task item and value is equals to 40 and color is equals to red and we will say maybe since all is related to education we will say data science education so that's how the simple thing is that you display, you get the type is equal to task, you define the task items for each of the one. Hit the save button and let's try and run this. Let's see what is coming. So valid colors, so something is happening uh, with the colors. So it is saying invalid colors, valid colors are these. So let's see where it has given us a problem. So aqua the spelling is incorrect uh, i just press the draw q u a right maybe here in this case let's put it green because red i have already specified over here so hit save stop the previous instance and run that all right that was just a simple mistake correct and this is the third icon for you which is related to task and you can see how intuitive and beautiful it is to display it on the front end where it is showing you the status of completion by number and as well as by visually displaying you the 
information. So that's how you can create your message menu, your, your uh, notification menu and your task menu that adds a lot of interactivity to your dashboard where your users are almost uh, aware about everything which is going on in you know, their dashboard on the project or in the program program that you are running and they don't really have to go anywhere to look for the information because everything gets supplied in such a nice and easy manner so all your dashboard related thing here controls are here notification messages are here like a standard or a professional application so that's pretty much all about it and uh, uh, last thing is about the automation so if you have seen my previous video about uh, automating the notification for message menu well if you have not then you go ahead and watch that because in a similar way you will going to automate the task items if uh, you want to automate that otherwise you need to go in and static manually need to go uh, provide the information which is generally not a very great idea because most of the time if you have uh, dynamic messages and you need your dashboard to publish that dynamically then you have to have some settings over there so go watch that video where i have tried uh, where i've shown you the automation of message menus and you can automate these tasks as well about how they are getting displayed and what number of tasks that needs to be displayed well i'll meet you then in the next video with some new topic